Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be another fitness vlog about waist trainers and waist cinchers. And I'm just gonna be, what'd I say? Waist trainers and sweatbands. And I'm just gonna be talking about some of the similarities, the differences, which ones I enjoy, my personal experiences with them. This video is way long overdue for a number of reasons. The main one being my hair wasn't done and I'm not about to get on camera with my hair not done because that's just ratchet. And I wasn't ready. I just wanna make sure I have all my information down before I make a whole video on it. I can start with sweatbands. This is a sweatband. Um, sweatband, waist trimmer, waist eraser, all the same things. And it's basically one size fits all. They do exactly what they say or they're going to do. It promotes sweat around your midsection. If you're sweating more, you're losing more water weight there. So this is a waist trainer. A lot of you may be more familiar with these than sweatbands, but this is a waist trainer. One of my old ones. Um, it comes with the two rows and hooks you just hook it and you wrap it around your waist and they come in a lot of different sizes unlike the sweatband which only comes in one size because it's so long like you can just wrap around and it's velcro but these like are specifically made for certain waist sizes so it's really important when you order yours to make sure you order the correct one don't try to get fancy order the next size lower because it's just not going to work um, it's a size chart you go by weight and height so you pick out which one, you know, fits you best. And if you know you have a smaller waist, I would say it's okay to go a size down. But if not, I will bump a size up. And you just order the one that your weight and height, the weight height category that you match. I wear the sweatband. I only wear it when I work out. I do not wear it every day like I do the waist trainer. Well, I did not wear it every day because I don't use it anymore because I run out of the product. Who wants to walk around with a sweatband every day, even though you do get hot wearing these waist trainers but I'm not walking around with a sweatband on every day like no it's really bulky waist trainers are a bit of a different story you're supposed to wear a waist trainer anywhere from four to eight hours a day the longer the better but I would not recommend wearing it while you sleep it's just not good uncomfortable I don't if I get in my bed this is already off like even to lay to take a nap it's a little uncomfortable at first it's gonna take a little while to get adjusted to it. I would recommend starting out with maybe an hour or two a day, then working your way up because if you just try to go flat out eight hours a day, you actually might die because I actually almost died twice. Just know when you first start waist training, you're gonna get hot really fast. Like, cause I, I guess something with your body heat, it traps in your body heat. So like I would be sweating by the time I walked out the door for work because I would put this on and like it'll be hot in the house like a tad like a comfortable hot but when you put this on you're going to burn up and you just need to be prepared for that like I had a notebook that I would carry around with only like a few sheets of paper in it and I would just fan myself with that cardboard so my personal experience I ordered my first waist trainer in November of 2013 it was my freshman year in college and I ordered the waist trainer. I got a size 36, I want to say. When I got it, like, I could have, it's, since it's two rows of latches, I could have easily just, I put it on the second row when I first started because it was a little bigger. That's why I said, like, if you already have a smaller waist, and like, you could go down a size, but only if you know, like, your, your um, weight, you know, high ratio, like, you have a smaller waist. So, I got the 36. Could have went and did the 34, but I didn't. So I wore the 36 for about a month, month and a half. Then it eventually, like, I felt like it was too, not felt like it was too big. So I went and I ordered a 32. So I jumped from a 36 and a 32. Who I thought I was skipping the size 34, I don't know, but I did it. 32 came. I was about to die. Like, literally, I felt like. I was squished like I, when I told you I almost died twice that was the second occasion the first occasion being when I first put the 36 inch one on and I was in class really hot burning up fanning myself with everything I could get my hands on had to go to the bathroom take it off because I was just too hot I'm just like uh, okay I wasn't buying a new one so I took it off threw it in the closet I'll come back to it later that's when I ordered my sweatband 
and my sweet sweat, which I would use for about two months. You know, just apply the sweet sweat, then you put the sweat band around and it promotes sweat and it actually does work. I can put in a picture right here. And that was a picture after I got done using the sweet sweat. So I used that for about two months and then I ran out of the sweet sweat product. So I'm like, okay, I don't feel like buying any more sweet sweat. So I went back to my closet, got my size 32 waist train and I put it on and it fit because I was working out consistently and I was using the sweet sweat. So I had lost a little weight around the midsection. So it was easier for me to put on the waist trainer and be comfortable because I had lost that weight. So I used the 32 for about, um, I want to say, um, two to three months I used the 32. Then I went on summer break and I ordered a size 30. So I wore a 30 throughout all this May through September. I wore the size 30. And I just recently bought the last size. It's a 28. I'm really proud of myself and my progress. And if you want to... I personally wear my waist trainer every single day. I'll put it on before I go to class. And when I come in for the day, I'll take it off. Typically around anywhere from five to eight hours a day, I have this waist trainer on. And I mean, I don't notice it anymore. I've been wearing them for about two years. So when I put one on, it's just like, okay. And since I'm on the smallest size now, I feel like my time wearing waist trainers is winding down. I will still wear it to maintain my waist. Some of the waist trainers would definitely prefer a waist trainer over the sweat band, but do whatever works for you because everyone's fitness journey is different. Waist trainer rules. Work out. Eat right. Wear it. That's all you gotta do. And I just want to thank everybody for coming to my channel. It means so much. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment them. Make sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.